guys, welcome back. Today's Manny, we are gonna do something fun with a glitter that I actually received from a giveaway. So Dipped and Dusted is a company that um, she makes really, really cool things. She not only has dip powder, but she also has um, things like lip scrub and cuticle oil and all kinds of things. So I was lucky enough to win this um, color right here. It's called Gray Me Down. It is a beautiful silver gray um, chunky glitter, which of course I love chunky glitter. Um, and I'm also gonna pair that today with this Dipsters color. It's called Marilyn. It's kind of like a pearly white color. Um, and then this dipped and dusted right here, uh, glass color is just gonna be the clear coat that I put on top. So, so what I'm thinking is my thumb, um, pointer finger and middle finger, I think I'm gonna do those in the gray glitter and then for my ring finger and my pinky I'm gonna do Marilyn and most likely do an ombre because you guys know me and my ombres so that is the plan um, in this video I'm also going to be reviewing this Virgo and gem uh, liquid package that I got I bought this um, because there's a lot of hype right now about Virgo and gem and I wanted to try it for myself um, I'm pretty loyal to my double dip company but um, there's just been so much hype about this company so I figured I would try it out um, so I'm gonna give you my first impressions in this video and and see how I like it and let you know if I would recommend it or not so um, you'll see me use that throughout this video it's a little bit different than I'm used to um, of course I went with a glitter <laughs> to try it with but that's the real test in my opinion is how does it work with a chunky glitter so so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna start with this um, Gray Me Down color by Dipped and Dusted. I am going to use this on those three fingers, like I mentioned, my thumb, um, pointer finger, and middle finger. So what I'm doing is just kind of shaking the jar to get the chunky glitters to the top. Um, this, this chunky glitter is not nearly as chunky as a lot of the other ones that I have dealt with, which is kind of why I liked it, because it wasn't, too intimidating and you'll see a little bit later on where when I brush off the glitter a lot of the chunks come with it and it doesn't even look chunky so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch what I usually do right here I'm just showing you guys since this is a first impression of Virgo and Jim um, they do have a nice little stopper on the inside of that bottle there which was really nice that does help with keeping the lid clean um, and so it doesn't stick together I've only used these once so I can't test if they do stick together um, or if the lid seal shut so I will let you guys know if I have any issues with it in the future but um, it did open nicely it went on very nicely the brush here it does not fan out as much as I would like double dip is is a lot better in my opinion with the with the brush but I still had no issues with it I just was not used to the brush not fanning out but that is no problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip this chunky glitter. Um, you guys have seen me do this in a prior video, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit of it, but um, I'm gonna go around my cuticles, press it down, and continue that on for the next two fingers. So you guys will see that. I am gonna do two coats of that glitter and then also hand place some pieces because it's not as chunky as some of the other ones. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just taking a toothbrush here and brushing off all that excess powder and glitter. Um, and you can see, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of those big chunks 
fell off and that's okay I'm gonna let them fall off and even some of them I am picking off that's just gonna help it lay flat in the end so I am gonna go in with another coat of the glitter and then also I'm gonna hand place it so I'm just gonna continue doing that So now that I'm done with the glitter part, I'm going to go in with this pearly white color from Dipsters. Um, so Dipsters is a fairly new company. They've been around for about three months now. I technically am a ambassador or influencer for them. I really don't like those words, but that's technically what it is. Um, so I get to sample out some of their dips and get to show them to you guys. So um, their names are Erica and Lindsay. They started this business together. Um, they have been best friends for 10 years now, which is pretty cool. Um, they decided that they really enjoyed creating dips and they really wanted to create them for other people. So um, most of their stuff is very unique. They really, really, really take pride in the quality of their product and I cannot recommend their product enough. Um, the, the quality and the opacity of their dips is just so amazing. Every time I use their dips, I am just so happy with the outcome. I never have any weird splotchiness. It just goes on so smooth and so opaque in that first layer. So you can see there, that was my first coat and there is literally no issues with it. So I just, I never have any issues with it. I can always, barely buff it and it'll come out perfect every time so if you guys have not already checked out dipsters i really 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 recommend them and not even just because i help them out as an ambassador i i truly would recommend them to anybody that is looking for a small business to support um, i do have a discount code with them um, it is not an affiliate link at all it is just to truly save you guys money um, it is Taylor 10 and I will have that down in the description box as well as on my Instagram in the bio. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about them because I really, really enjoy their product and I think you guys would too. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up um, these two fingers and then we're going to get into the ombre in just a little bit. So here is what they look like before I start on the ombre. Um, I'm going to go in with that Gray Me Down by Dipped and Dusted. Um, this is going to be like a vertical ombre on my ring finger is what I envisioned for this manicure. So I'm just going to take this eyeshadow brush that you guys see me use in all of my videos. Um, and I'm just going to kind of hold my finger in whichever way kind of worked for me. I try I typically try to hold it on its side, whichever way the ombre is trying to go. And then you can see none of the chunkiness or, or any of the chunky pieces fell, which is totally okay. I just got kind of got like a nice, uh, the finer glitter, a nice fine coat of that. 
And then on this second coat here, I'm gonna go ahead and just dab my toothpick in that base coat that I just laid down and pick up some of those chunkier pieces and lay them down wherever I want them. So um, I'm just gonna continue doing that. I have done this in a prior video also. I typically always have an ombre in most cases on my nails. It's pretty rare that I don't, but um, so if if for some reason you needed to see more of it, you guys could definitely go check out another video. I just kind of dabbed some base coat here and there and put some of the chunky pieces on. Um, and that's that's how I get the, the nice look of the ombre without doing so many coats. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up and I'll be back. So here is the final look. I was happy with this. Um, it actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to do. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate all of my nails with that um, clear powder. It is called Glass and it is from Dipped and Dusted as well. I also won that in the giveaway. Um, and I figured while I'm using her glitter, I might as well try out her clear coat. Um, I had no issues with the clear coat. It was pretty clear in my opinion. I, I didn't have any bubbles, um, and if I did, they were very minimal. So I just went ahead and encapsulated all of my nails, including my pinky, because might as well, because I had it on all the other fingers. And then once I have all that on there, I do make sure to take that toothbrush on my clear coat just to get rid of all of the extra clear coat, because that can help reduce the bubbles. And then I went ahead and activated, and now I'm gonna go ahead and file and buff. So I decided to go ahead and keep this part in the video for you guys, um, because a lot of people um, ask me questions on how do you file down chunky glitter, mine is never that smooth. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in on what I do here. This, this e-file, or whatever you wanna call it, um, is just from Walmart. It is like an $8 file, and it's battery operated. It is not powerful at all. Um, but it gets the job done. Maybe one day I will get a e-file and <laughs> step my game up, but for now that one works. Um, so I just kind of go over all the, the nails with that first, and then I go in with an actual file. I buff down the tops of them. I shape them again. That is a, a main thing that I want to call out is to make sure you shape your nails after dipping. Um, so I always shape them before and then during the, the buffing stage because they do lose their shape as you're dipping, so. So once I'm happy with the shape, I will go ahead and activate again and wait two minutes, and then we will finish up with the top coat. So this is definitely the part that's most important, is taking a lint-free wipe or paper towel or something that's not going to leave little fuzzies and wipe off all of that activator that is on your nails. This is the part that will gunk up your top coat brush if you do not wipe off that extra activator that's kind of sitting on your nails. So always do that. And then with the top coat, this is the part I was most... I'm excited about is everyone was talking about the amazing shine that Virgo and Gem provides. So I thought that it was very shiny. I was not disappointed at all. I think it's very comparable to uh, Double Dip and the Triple Vitamin. So I, I wasn't like super blown away, but I mean, it is very shiny. I do like it. I liked all three of the sets. And now that I've had them on my nails um, about a week now, they they were fine. I had no chipping. I had no cracking. So if you are in the market for new dip liquids, you could definitely check them out. I, I really don't notice a huge difference between them and double dip. So I will probably stay pretty loyal to my double dip. <laughs> so then once they are dry, I'm going to go ahead and finish up as usual with my Grimes Ridge cuticle oil. I decided to go in with the roller ball um, from them. It's in the apple bourbon scent. I decided on the roller ball because she is going to be launching these very, very soon. So if you're not already in the Facebook group for them, it's called Inside the Ridge. 
and you can see all the updates there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will have a picture at the end for you guys and thanks for watching. Bye guys!